Hi everyone, my name is Rosalind Streeter. Welcome to the Journey of Vision where you will soon learn it's just so much easier with God. All right, you guys, come on, let's chat. Okay, guys, so I'm back again. Another part of God said, know your portion, stick with me. God's heart and his mixed emotions, you guys, released on February 1st, 2024, part four. Here we go. God said, so stay at attention with me. And you guys, if you're watching part four and you haven't watched part one through three, please go back and watch those parts to understand where he is in all of this. Okay. So God says, so stay at attention with me. I will direct you. Many of you will need to move and to do it quickly. I will give you the means. But you have to do your part, my child, and be ready. Many of you will stay put, stay right in place. My sheep know my voice, and I will direct you and confirm these things. So this part is very important, you guys, because God may tell your neighbor, right? Someone that you know that's really close to you to move. Like, hey, I gotta leave, we gotta get out of here. God has asked me to go to another state, right? And maybe they're telling you this. And you're like, oh, wait, but God didn't share that with me. He didn't ask me to do that, right? So what you don't wanna do is take what God shared with them for yourself. You could simply say, Lord, hey, you didn't share that with me. And if it is in your will for me to move to, please instruct me to do so. But if it's not, instruct me to stay still. Because I need you to understand everyone, every child of God, you guys, in this hour is getting instructions. You're getting divine instructions children of God, only children of God, the ones that are seeking God, calling them his father, right? He's going to direct you. But please, this is so important. Do not, just because God instruct this person this way and instruct this person another way, don't take that for yourself because your instructions could be different for a whole nother reason. You don't know what's coming up, but God does. So trust him. And God's only doing this so he can keep us safe. So yes, many will move. And if you are moving, God has already given you that. It should have been probably last year, right? He's already started pressing on you to prepare, start packing, start decluttering and getting you know, rid of certain things. So when it is time to move, it's time to move. I did a video, I think it was the end of 2022, but it was related to the virus, y'all. The actual virus that is coming that God was showing us what is coming and how different it is from the first COVID, okay? And so you're more than welcome to look at that. I'll actually add the title in so you'll know. You'll be able to go to it if you would like to see it, okay? Um, but God has also warned us about the virus that is coming and what he said about it too, okay? So I encourage you to watch those videos. Anything virus-related, I encourage you to watch it, okay? All right. And then also, you guys, I need you to know some, if God was speaking some people, their departure time, and when I say departure time, meaning like they're, you know, unfortunately no longer be here on this earth, it has been spared because of you as a child of God, okay? So if you're feeling like you're not doing enough, you are being still. Like, being still is enough. If God asks you to be still, there is a big reason. Because see, here's the thing, once he removes you from a space, right? It's not all of you, but once he removes you from a space, those people will no longer be covered. They're only covered 
because of where God has positioned you, right? You're still feeding them with what God is asking you to do. But God was showing me he spared these people because of you. My God, y'all. So that's amazing in itself. If you have been obedient, obedient in all that God has told you, even when you don't understand it, even when you don't understand it and you've been so obedient, y'all, and you're still, you've been still and you're like, Lord, how long do I have to be still? And God's like, just a little bit longer. You don't understand what you're doing for the people that surround you. You don't understand if you move too quickly, my God. If you move too quickly, judgment is coming. You're, you're sparing them. God is sparing them, y'all, to hear more. Mm, that's good. And then when God shifts you, y'all, and move you, God said judgment will hit them suddenly and quickly so quickly and he's talking about the ones that you have poured your heart out to you're trying to you know save them like hey come on come to church with me hey hear the word you know give your life to christ i mean you know you're praying for them you're doing so much for them and they still decide not to choose god god said judgment will hit them suddenly and quickly so protect your hearts in this hour you guys and just like God told me, he said, Rosalind, you can't save everyone. He told me this a year and a half ago, right? And I was sad at me because I was like, well, I know I can't save everyone, but, you know, he had to break it down to me. He was like, you, you can't. He's like, they're going to have to choose for themselves. And I was like, wow, that is so true. And so I encourage you guys, you know, protect your hearts in this hour because unfortunately, everyone has their own choice to make and we can't make it for them. We can only give them what is instructed, but that's it. We can pray for them, you know, we can be present, but unfortunately they have to ultimately make their own decision so I encourage you to do the same, y'all, and prepare your hearts in this hour. Prepare your hearts. All right, you guys. So hold on. Part five coming right up. And just know we love you. Bye.